Welcome home, babe. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, let's go in. My mom is waiting. What? Are you sure I'm going up or Come on, babe. Okay. See. Come on, babe. My mom is waiting. She doesn't buy it. We got this. Alright? You say so. Let's go. This place is fine. Do you like it? Yeah, this place is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, this is Foster, the one I told you about. Young man, what do you do for a living? I am. Um, I. Mom, he's still unemployed at the moment, but he has ideas, so he's working on something. Is he deaf and dumb? Allow the young man speak for himself. I will allow you to say it. Come on, babe. I knew it was a bad idea meeting her this early. I told you. No, it wasn't a bad outing. You know that. <sighs> but I didn't meet up to our standards. <sighs> Don't worry. Um, you know your ideas are strong ideas and no one can resist. But you heard what she said. They're just lofty dreams with no capital to back it. I'm unemployed at the moment, but um, I'm working on something that I feel is going to be very huge. Hmm. Let's hear the idea. Okay, um, I'm planning to start a tech company. So um, my friends and I, we have contacts with a Chinese firm. And um, the whole aim is to stop cyber fraud. And um, we, okay, we're developing an app to be able to help financial institutions like track and stop cyber fraud. Such a lofty idea. But then, what is keeping this your idea from kicking off? Mom, the capital. From what I can say is that everything is ready. Um, the partners in China are just waiting for the financial engagement so they can move on. So how much capital are we looking at? Uh, um, $38,000. That's a huge capital for a project the prospects aren't clear yet. <laughs> like I said earlier, love the idea. But And let's be real, like, how am I going to raise the capital for it? Okay, okay. I just want you to snap out of this mood. Trust me, the income will come. I, I trust you. Sure. And I love you. I love you too. All right. Well. I know you have reservations for folks from the lower class, but... Point of correction. I do not have issues with the poor. After all, I was once poor. But then my problem here is with a young man you're dating. I don't see him as someone who is capable of removing himself from the present situation. Mom, that's the reason you need to sponsor his ideas he's passionate about. Trust me to be a masterpiece. A whopping 30 million naira to a project. The prospect is not even clear enough. 
this is an investment into the future. It's not as if you're giving your money to a charitable organization. In less than five years, you will get your money back. And with huge profit. Mirabel, mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. What exactly do you see in this young man? Because if you ask me, I see nothing out of the ordinary. Mom, I love him so much. I love Foster with my life. I just want you to support me. Please, Mom. I should think I thought you better than this. Hey, love is not enough. There has to be something more. I'm not going out today. Mama, I'm going to. Besides, who wants to invest in a boy like me? A boy that came from nothing. I'm not going out to do anything now. So. Faster. Hmm? Do not lose hope. Eh? What the kwana you danger or the man? Your dreams and aspirations are legitimate. <sighs> God will make a way for you someday. Mama, amen. Amen. He will. Are you expecting someone? No. Let me check. My love. Hey, babe. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Ah, my beautiful daughter. Welcome. Thank you, Mom. How are you? So sorry. Ah, Welcome, oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I came bearing good news. Uh, my mom has agreed to sponsor the project. Wait, which project? <laughs> Your project. Don't joke on this kind of thing. I don't like it now. <laughs> Babe, I'm serious. I'm actually here to get your account details so mom can send you the money. Hey! <laughs> I said it though. I said it that God will make a way even when there's no way. I don't even know what to say. Ew. It's okay. Hey, God. Hey. Hey, thank you. God bless you and your mother, oh. Oh, God bless you, you know? Hi. Hi. Like, how does I explain the situation now? First, uh, I am totally not in shock. <sighs> but I told you, guy. I warned you. I told you to properly investigate these people before committing a dime. I did. I, I, I asked questions. I did. You asked questions? From who? <sighs> From same people who connived with the foreigners to dupe you? See, okay, you're, not, you're actually not helping the situation now. You're not... Uh, Tell me, how am I going to tell Mirabel's mother that 30 million is gone for real? <sighs> Girl, you are in deep <sighs> shit. You are in deep shit. See, you have to speak to Mirabel. I mean, she was the only one that would make this part straight for you to trade on. Oh, God. Yeah, you have to calm down, alright? Just oh, put yourself together. Everything will be fine, alright? It's not fine. It's not fine. <laughs> what, Alima? Why are you staring at me and smiling? Uh-uh. Don't I smile again? It's just that you're, you're glowing. <laughs> We're going to love some deal. You are a clown. What are you even saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm just trying to say that. Since you started this relationship, look at you. Just look at you, you're good. <laughs> it can't show all over your face. <laughs> My girl is in love with you. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love him so much. Foster is the love of my life. 
and I hope he sees you just as he sees him. Oh yeah, he practically worships the ground I walk on. <laughs> He's a darling. Mm -hmm. ah. Talk of the devil. Hi babe. Are you okay? Oh, all right, um, I'll be there right away. Okay. Is everything all right? Um, I don't think so. Um, I will drop you off and then I'll go see Foster right away. Like you're done with me right now? No, really. I think it was sounding so eager. Don't worry, you come and look for me. You sound so worried on the phone. Mm. And you're just crying. What's going on? I don't know where to start from. I don't, I don't know what to do right now. Did anyone die? How is mom? Is she okay? Mom is fine. Mom is fine. Um, I've been scammed. Wait. I, I don't understand. What's going on? God. You know how 30 million your mom gave me mm -hmm. for that project? Those Chinese investors and friends, everything, they're all frauds. Money is gone. <sighs> hey! <laughs> hey, please, please say something. What do you expect me to say? My mom is going to skin me alive. Hey, hey, I'm finished. <laughs> hey! Babe, don't do this. Stop. What am I going to do? Just get up, please go and see her. See who? How would I can tell that I have spent 30 million naira? What are you even saying? Let's go and see her before someone else does. It's okay. I promise everything is going to be fine. You don't promise that. You can't promise that. She's never going to forgive me. Babe, let's go first. Just go. I knew it. Of course. The very moment I saw you, I knew you were nothing but a mistake. You are just proverbial never do well. How am I sure? Hey, you look at me. How am I sure you're not in consent with those monsters to steal my money and then cry wolf? I swear on my late father's grave. Oh, just shut it! Who the hell is your late father? Your wretched late father, if he was a better person, I'm sure you would have had a better brain than this. Mom, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. No, don't even say a word, because I don't want to talk to you. You caused it! You caused all this! I asked you what you saw in this low life, God forsaken human! That may never amount to anything in life. But you never said anything. So shut it! Mom. Please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Mom, take a look at me properly. Do I look like your wretched mom? Don't you ever in your life call me by that name again? Idiot. Please get up. I know we are going to sort it out, all right?
It's enough for that. Who's go? Who's go? After all, you did not steal the money. And you never knew something like that would happen. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to pay the back her money. You should have been there today. There's nothing that woman must say to me. Would you blame her? Eh? You cannot blame her. Is it easy to cough out 30 million naira in today's Nigeria? And the money would just go down the drains. You wouldn't blame her. That should not mean you should still be crying. Who's go? You have cried enough. Me feel you. She said it. She said it today. But well, let's be honest. What am I good at? Foster, you are not a failure. This one you're saying now is the one that will make me angry. You are not a failure and you will never be a failure. No matter what we are going through now, you are not a failure. It's okay. It's okay. It is well. So, is she asking you to pay back the 30 million? Bro, this is the part that scares me the most. She's not saying anything. Anything at all. That silence alone scares me. I'm not going to lie to you. Bro, I'm scared. Oh, God. This is not going to be easy at all. Uh. Where on earth are you going to get whooping 30 million to pay back? Where? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. You reported this case to the police. They told me to uh, write a petition to EFCC. Are they even going to take you seriously? Oh. Um, Foster. I think Lady B should be the one writing that petition. Think about it. She's wealthy and highly connected. The commission will swing into action. This is coming from her. Oh. That point there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually, you're actually making sense. I'll, I'll tell me about suggest it to her. I'll tell me. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's idea. A, that's a good one. But you, you need to calm down. All right, you need to take things easy. I strongly believe that this money will be recovered, okay? But what if it's not? What will be my fate then? <sighs> Police, where are you taking him to? Oga? Oga, please, where are you taking my son? You people should talk to me now, Madam Bikonuru. Madam, he's not a criminal. Officer, which police station are you people going now? Eh? Where are you going? Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, then take your, 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 your friend. Oh. Okay, okay. Hey. Okay, Chiku. Okay. Okay, Chiku. Eh? I don't know. Police people came and took took your friend away. And they didn't tell me. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mom. What happened to Foster? Arrested? How? How did it happen? All right, just calm down. Calm down. I'm going to sort it out. All right? All right. Mom! 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 Wow. 
Why are you screaming? Mom, did you have Foster arrested? Yes. Of course. Why not? He's a criminal. The young man is a criminal. That criminal must surely answer for his crime. Oh, what did you think? That he will take my 30 million naira and I will let it slide. Mom, this is not fair. You know he didn't steal the money. He was duped. Duped? By who, if I may ask? Oh, by the faceless so-called Chinese people that he got in bed with. Now you listen to me. That young man is a thief and will be dealt with accordingly. So I want you to get that into your thick school. Mom, this is not fair. What is not fair? This isn't fair, Mom. Please, please, please beg your mom for me. I didn't steal this money. I never knew it was going to happen. Uh, babe, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I know my mom is angry at this point. But don't worry, I'm going to speak with her and you'll be released. Just tell her, tell her I'll do anything. I'll do anything to pay back that money. Please, just tell her to release me. Please. It's okay, babe. Don't worry. I'll talk to my mom about it and you'll be <sighs> out of here. Trust me. I love Foster go. Until he returns my money. He stays there. He was duped. You know that. He's innocent more. Now I'm going to tell you this, Mirabel. I want you to stay the hell away from that young man. I do not want you anywhere close to that thief again. Mom, I love him. I love him so much. Now, what do you know about love? I'm asking you. Hey, whatever you have for that man dies now and here. You are pregnant for him. That's the height of it. My daughter, Morning. thank you. Thank you very much for making your mother release my son. <laughs> Mommy, it's okay. Um, I know he's innocent and he's, he was just a victim. Hmm. Thank you for understanding the whole situation. Baby, it's okay. Um, I have something to tell you. Oh, okay. Let me excuse you too. Oh, no, mom. You need to stay. <laughs> it's uh, actually the reason my mom released him. Uh, yeah. What, what, what is it? <laughs> I'm pregnant. This is good news, as well as bad news. Foster, how can you be talking about pregnancy when the issue of the money has not been sorted out? Hmm. I'm as confused as the word confusion is. I don't know what to think at this point. <laughs> Guy, that woman is going to eat you raw for this. Funny enough. It was the news of the pregnancy that made her release me from police custody. 
Are you serious? Wait. Which means she might not even react the way we are expecting her to. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Lady B is unpredictable. Like I've said it before, I prefer her angry and venting. But she's silence. It scares me. It really freaks me out. I'm not even going to lie to you. But first of all, you've not killed anybody. You've not committed any crime. Not like Mirabel is, is, is an underage and you took advantage of her. You did not. Both of you are adults and in love. So, there is absolutely nothing to worry yourself about. This woman had animosity towards me before this. I'm not going to deceive myself now. Bro, there's no soft landing here. I'm not going to deceive myself. That was the truth. <laughs> I know both of you are deeply in love, but I don't know things were moving this fast. Don't sound like that, Alima. It was never planned. Mirabel, you had sex without protection. In God's name, what were you guys thinking? My mom is so mad at me right now. I don't even know how to face her. It's all right. The deed has been done. She has to come to terms with this. She is so disappointed at me right now. You know what I stand on pregnancy before marriage is. It's fine. She, she's disappointed at me. It's okay, Mirabel. She has to forgive you. No one actually plans on this before marriage, not even you and your friend. I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't know how to face her. Mirabel, it's fine. We'll find a solution. <sighs> do you want from us? I'm asking you, who sent you to my family in the first place? In less than four months, you have turned us upside down. I have lost everything. I have lost my money. And now this is happening. Well, I'm very sorry. I never intended for any of this to happen. Oh, shut up! Now what is all this? You should be ashamed of yourself. You never intended to get her pregnant. Mm. How irresponsible can you get? And you? This is how you raised your child. No. Shame! Madam, I raised him well. My son is a good boy. It's just that... Oh, spare me all that! Sorry, madam. Just take a look at what you're saying to yourself. You raised him up. You raised him properly. And he got my daughter pregnant. I can never allow my daughter to give birth out of wedlock. That's because I am against it. I have been a champion for girls keeping their virginity intact till after marriage. All right, I'm going to sponsor this wedding. And it will take place in less than two weeks. Thank you, Mom. It's about um, repeating me. What, what am I going to do about it? Even if you're being sold right now, I can't recover my 30 million naira. Chai. That's how worthless you are. Chai. Awesome Jai. <sighs> anyway, like I said earlier, because of my daughter, I'm going to sponsor this wedding. I'll get you to a house for a start. I'll set up a business for you. Hey, look at me. Maybe a furniture business ah. or something. God bless you, madam. Madam, I do not need your things. Yes, ma'am. Keep quiet. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I, I promise I won't disappoint you this time. You better not disappoint me, else, in front of your mother, I'm saying this, I will kill you. What? Huh? And I mean every word.
What were you thinking coming to pick me up this late? Were you expecting me to pick up a car? If that's not happened, I wasn't close by and traffic, I got held up by traffic. Plus I called you and you didn't, and you didn't pick up my calls. Were you expecting me to pick up your call where you, where you oh, left me stranded? Oh God. Babe, I'm sorry, that's not what happened now. Oh! Yeah, well, it's not enough for this drama you're putting up right now. Babe. So now I'm like, I'm dramatic. That's not what I meant. You know it. Instead of you to say sorry, but your ego will not allow you to do that. You know what? I don't want to banter with you. Just let us dead it, babe. Oh, now I'm nagging. So now you don't want to banter what with me. Just imagine. What has it done to my child? So this is his plan. To kill my child and inherit what's mine? Mother, this was just an accident. And this is not the right time to apportion blows. I know why you're saying this. That's because you do not know that young man very well. He is mean. Very wicked boy. You're very lucky. I mean, apart from the fractured hand, everything else is in place. Um, doctor, so there is nothing like um, internal bleeding or something? No. No, it cannot be. So we'll concentrate on the fractured hand. Thank God for saving my son. Doctor, think about my wife. She wasn't very lucky. She's in coma as we speak. But I give you my word, we're on top of the situation. Can I see her? Sure, you can. Have you seen her? I'm sure you like the way you kept her. You are happy the way she is, isn't it? It's your plan to kill my daughter, right? Sorry, the accident wasn't my fault. Don't even go there! Don't think about it. I want her against you. But she wouldn't listen. I don't blame you. I blame my daughter. I want her against you, but she wouldn't listen. She was too adamant and blinded by what she calls love. L O V E. Love! Then I ask, what is this love? This is love. Isn't it the way you kept it? Did you just go the word? Did you say Funanya? Don't even try! Try it again and see what I will do to you! Doctor. Sorry, Doctor. Madam, I hope you understand that this is not the right time or place for this. Besides, the noise is not good for the patient. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Will you stay here away from her? Don't even try it. Don't touch my daughter again. Pray. Pray. Seriously. Then nothing happens to her else. <laughs> I will skin you alive. I mean every word. Try me. Let me see your hand on her body again. I will teach you a lesson. Madame Kutukwa Fink! Fink from you! Idiot. You are indeed a bad luck. Stop it! Don't touch her again. Look at your son. As cute as your son is, he is a bad luck. Since he stepped into our lives. Bad things started happening from east, west, north, and south. Look at what he's doing. I'm sure you're praying. Pray very well. Shame on you. Madame, you know they hear what? 
Why? If you don't touch my daughter again, I swear I will push you. And I will push you real hard. You will hit your head. And where do you think you're going? You better come back here. We are in this together. Come back. There is no time to waste. The baby is already dead. We have to do an immediate evacuation. That's a just, uh, just go ahead and do it, please. I'm afraid, ma'am. That instruction will have to come from the husband at this point. Um, doctor, just do whatever she says. Oh. Okay. But one more thing, and this is the most difficult part. She will regain consciousness in a matter of hours, but she may not be able to walk again. What? Who? Oh. My child? I blame myself for everything that happened. I shouldn't have been arguing with you that day. I'm so sorry. I've lost my baby. And I've lost my legs too. If I blame myself, please. Just find, find it in your heart to forgive me, please. I can't face this. The trauma is too much for me to bear. Be strong for me, please. Wait, please be strong. Please be strong. Mom. Sweetheart. I'm finished. No. Don't talk like that. You're not. I can never walk again. It's alright. Please. I want you to stop crying. Everything will be alright, I assure you. Okay? Thank God you are alive. You survived it. Forget about every other thing. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Sorry. your peaceful life with your own hands. Mom, I was in love. I followed my heart. To where? I'm asking to where, sadly. Yeah. Hmm? On a wheelchair. Condemned to a life of misery. All your dreams and aspirations and life has gone down the drains. And now, you are broken inside. For what is that like? I'm asking, love? And then I ask you again, what is love? I never thought for all of this to happen to me. I, I didn't, Mom. Of course. <laughs> That's 
what you get when you dine and dine with swines. <laughs> I wish, believe me, I wish you had listened to me earlier, but you didn't. All in the name of destiny you called love. <laughs> Mom, I want a divorce. Sadness has taken over my roof. My heart breaks every day, knowing fully well she will never walk again. It is not your making. Okay, it's my fault. No matter how you try to make it make sense to you. It will never make sense to me or to any other person. You didn't plan the accident, did you? No, but I was angry. We were arguing. I should have been more careful. I should have seen the vehicle coming. It still happened. It still happened. And it is not your fault. Listen, Foster. All you need to do now is to always be there for her. Everything will be fine, okay? Okay, it's right, too. Okay, is very right. Foster, you cannot continue to live with for yesterday's crime. She has that look. The look in her eyes, it pierces my soul. That look that says, you, you did this to me. You never planned it. It happened. Mm. Okay, Mama, um, you think I should leave her, like, divorce? Bro, are you being serious right now? No, no. That would be very unfair to her. First time she needs you now. Both of you should be together to walk this dark path. I'm you. I'm you. Okay. Need to calm down, man. Everything will be fine. I hope so. Never. Not in this life. You are not going to set that idiot free. You're not divorcing him. Mom. I'm already miserable. I am condemned to this for life. I can't walk. Okay. I can stand seeing him every day. Alright, alright. Listen, you see that young man you called foster or imposter, whatever. He will remain in this marriage. This marriage will serve as a punishment to him for leaving you in this kind of condition. I don't want you to consider divorce at all. You are not going to do that. Hey. It's all right. I, I totally understand how you feel. What you're going through in this phase. Oh, no. No. wish there's a magic wand <laughs> to turn the hands of time and to erase this sad event. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, Mom. You do not know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I understand everything. I understand how you feel. <laughs> it's you who doesn't understand. 
but I'm going through. <sighs> Seeing my child in this condition is killing me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mom. But your mom is right. Divorce won't cut it, you know. Leaving him now isn't the closure you seek. I think you guys need each other now more than ever. I do not need him. His constant presence here is reminding me of the bad decision I've made. But on a serious note, Mirabel, this is the same guy you literally chase like bees. The same guy you love to the moon and back, you remember? I guess. You I... guess. Make me understand something. Is, is there something you're not saying to me? What happened? Ha! It did surprise me. Hey, bro. Hey, Halima, what's up? I'm good, and you? I'm okay. And where are you coming from? I finished later from the shop today. I briefly went to see my mother. And you forgot that your burden of your wife needs to eat something. Hey guys, uh, I have to be going. It's getting late. Mirabel, I'll see you. Bye. Okay. Right. Bye. Hi. 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 I'm sorry. I need smoky jello fries with meat and dried fish. Uh, uh, okay, I'll. I'll wait for you now. Just sit tight. Mm -hmm. Babe, dinner is served. I do not want this. How? What do you mean? Are you asking me that stupid question? I said I don't want it. Babe, I came back tired. You told me you wanted smoky gel love. I've done it for you. Now you're rejecting it for no reason. You are sounding more stupid than you are already. Go ahead and make me a ripe plantain porridge with enough pepper inside with vegetable. Oh, not just vegetable. I in one cent leave. Are you saying the time? Like market is going to be open by this time. Where am I going to get on right planting from? Talk this of, of vegetables. Babe, why are you so unfair to me? Huh? Is it because I'm in this condition? Or because I'm nobody now you're treating me like this? Okay, you know what? I'll get you your on right plantain. That's good. We just started. Come in. Who's there? It's Foster, Foster. What is it? Jeez. Tell me you have unripe planting. Un unripe what? What do you need on right plantain for by this Mira time of the build. night? It's Mira built. She wants to just kill me in that house. She says she wants to eat it. Now I have to find it for her. Do you have? Bro, I don't I don't I don't want to probe, but this is just not fair. This is not good. I think your mom is actually the only person that should have that by now. What did I think about that? Because it's a long drive from here now. You know what? Just sit down, let me change what I'm wearing. We'll go together. That yeah, baby fast to move my not me for us. Foster. Okay. Foster. This night. Chimo. Ah, ah. 
What is it? I hope there's no problem. Do you have on ripe plantain? Guinea. On ripe plantain and vegetable. On ripe plantain and vegetable. Yes, I don't understand this craze about on ripe plantain and vegetable. Yeah, that's what she wants to eat this night. I didn't bother asking her why she wants to eat it. I don't. I don't want trouble. It's peace I want in my house. Akokwana. Do you have? <laughs> Yay! Well, I have on ripe plantain. I even have the bunch. Hey, Mama, please. But the problem is vegetable. I don't have vegetable. Oh, hey, but, but there's one woman that sells vegetable uh, along the road. Uh, I'll go and knock. Let uh, us go and knock. Uh, 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 she's uh, the only one who sells vegetable. Thank you. You don't see, you don't see my life this night. <laughs> Is that why you had to drag, okay? <laughs> Mama, it's my guy now. I needed to help him out and keep him company while driving at night. Try it. Try. Sorry, you know. Mama, please bring the plastic. Hey! Come on, baby, please. Eh? EJ, you can be on that plantain on the way, Biko. Just go and talk to the visitor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama, thank Mama, you. Thank you. Oh. Mama, you saved my um, life this night. Eh? The vegetable woman, let's go. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, let me tell him. Um, let me wake him. Um, Mazi, okay, get to help me. Take care of him. Uh-huh. Can you book a vegetable? When is it going to be ready? Damn you, Foster. Damn you. You think you can stab me to death, right? Oh, your plans are failed. You will not succeed. Hello, Mom. How are you feeling? Mom, I'm not fine. I'm starving. Now, what's the meaning of that? How about the moron you call a husband? Hasn't he brought food for you? I told him I wanted unripe plantain porridge with vegetable, and he left since and he has not returned. Is he mad? Oh, he wants you to eat late. That's exactly what is happening right now. It's all right. I don't want you to think about it. I'm going to call him right away. Okay, Mom. Thank you so much, Mom. It can't be good at all. Who's, who's calling? Hello, Mom. I've always known that you are evil-minded and you want my daughter dead. No, no, hello, don't say that, don't say that, ma'am. What do you mean by that? You didn't succeed in killing her through accident. Now you want to kill her through starvation. It will never work. <laughs> I've already bought the uh, unripe plantain and vegetables. Now you listen to me. Your evil plans will not work as far as I'm concerned. I will teach you a lesson. You will not forget in a horrendous marriage. Idiot. Ah, Guy, you're living in hell. What in God's name did I just listen to? <laughs> it's just the tip of the iceberg. Bro, you know what I've been going through in that house since that accident. <laughs> God. I don't understand how. The loving may have turned into a monster overnight. How? How did it happen? Oh, that accident changed her. I swear. That girl on that wheelchair. That's definitely not miracle. That's definitely not the way I fell in love with. Bro, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say to you, right? Just let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. Eating the rice. Mm -mm. I'm doing prayer and fasting on top of it. Do you expect me to be starving and waiting for your sorry ass to come? If you knew you could have managed the rice, why put me through this stress this night? Please, please, please do not nag at me this night. Allow me to enjoy my rice in peace. Okay. 
What will happen with this um, plantain and vegetables? What sort of stupid question is that? Just respect yourself this night. I understand your frustrations with turn of events, but I don't think you're going about it the right way. Okay, for example, what happened today? It was very uncalled for and... And what? You obviously planned on starving me to death wasn't called for. You neglecting my needs because I'm incapacitated wasn't called for. Baby, you know that's not true. You know that's not true. I've never neglected you. I have definitely never planned to starve you to death. You asked for jollof. I, I, I prepared it for you. Then you rejected it for no good reason. <sighs> Babe, I don't know what is going on. I actually don't know. I'm not even going to lie to you. I will sugarcoat it. Okay. I'm begging you. I know life hasn't been fair to you right now. I feel your pain. I feel it that much. Please, can we go back to being the fun loving couple we were before all this? You are the reason I'm in this condition, so you have to be whatever that comes from it. Now. Are you not the most wicked soul created by God? And why are you sleeping by this time of the morning when I haven't had breakfast? And you're supposed to go to the shop and also like every other man. Hey, is that why you do that? Can't you just wake up like a normal human being? Please, this is unfair now. You are just lucky that I only slapped you and I didn't pour you a bucket of hot water. But well, this, I slept very late last night now. And you're the reason I slept late. You tell me to go and find firewood and make roasted just, jam for you. Just shut up and stop whining like a girl. You better go and get me my breakfast. I wasn't expecting you here today. Are you okay? Chai. Your body is hot though. I just need to I just need to rest. I need to just lay my head somewhere. I can't even go to the shop today. There's no peace in my house, please. I just want to rest. It's obvious you're not feeling fine. Well, no problem. Let me make you something to eat. Then I'll call OK to mm. get you some medication. Oh? Mm, thank you. OK, sorry. <laughs> Saturday was a gist. I calm down. You two laugh. Make I drop the gist, confess. Saturday was a gist. Make I hand you something. That wedding was nothing to write home about. <laughs> Just <laughs> me more. You want hear more? So scanty, and the food textless. <laughs> no, I said they go, they go cook soup like this. Put better salt and make nothing there. So, so after all the bragging, Jennifer brags she could not deliver a supposed biggest wedding in town. <laughs> this one small. Make I give you the one who will shock you. You know her husband. The one where she they brag that they keep hand like this. The man no get you, my chick chick. Come on, the man no keep. 
he's just an average man. Ah, ah average self. I even give him pass mark. Now wow. Better hustler with these streets. So, so after all the shakara Jennifer do, so that was who she ended up with. He shock you pass. Nah, me he shock pass. Oh, he shock me. Nah, me he shock pass because I went there for better cocoa. Good day, ma'am. How are you, Halima? I'm fine, Ira. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, ma'am. Hi, baby girl. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just here. So, where is that your excuse of a husband? He has gone to the shop. Shop? Mm -hmm. But the sales girl said he hasn't shown up since today. He left here three hours ago, ma'am. Then he lied to you. Because I'm just coming from the shop and he's not there. Wait a minute. He's supposed to have none of him. Then I will have his head on a slate if he tries that. He dares not. You will be fine. I'm tired. I can't eat like this anymore. But you cannot give up now. Hmm? I know it is difficult, but you have to continue enduring. If you give up on Mirabel now, what would people say? Mama, this is just too much for him. What people are going to say should be the least of our worries at this moment. Mm. I'm nothing short of a maid in the house. Mm. She talks to me anyhow. Mm. And that her mom. Oh, my goodness. Mm. That woman is my worst nightmare. Mm. Uh, uh, hey. Okay. She's the one. The devil will not let me mention her name in peace. She's the one. Let me breathe. Mm. Ah. Sania, there. A blood of fool like you, son of a nobody that I picked from the gutters and gave a life. Good morning to you too, ma. Um, what did I do this time? Oh my goodness, for asking that stupid question, you are a useless boy. So, you left the shop. I spent millions of naira to open for you and went where? I'm asking you, where did you go? I didn't abandon the shop. I went to... Oh, just close that your useless mouth. Don't give me such stupid excuses anymore. Now you listen. If that shop collapses, my God. Believe me, you will see the other side of me that you've never seen before. Rubbish. Mom, can you imagine? Where did you say you went to? He didn't even say anything. I must be said, talking rubbish on the phone. <laughs> Honestly, Mama Beard, this is just not fair. It's not right at all. Are we just going to let this woman to be treating him like this? Kijuku, what do you want us to do? Marriage is not a bed of roses. Mama, marriage shouldn't be a bed of tongues either. Do they want to kill him? Mama, this is not your life I signed up for. This is not what I planned for my life at all. Son, I want you to tell yourself first that there are some days when the sun may not shine Fine. and there will not be any shoulder to lean on. <sighs> the Wahala is just too much. Do you know what they've turned him into? He does the cleaning, he does the washing, he does practically everything. Hmm. They've turned him into a help. Mama, this one is just too much. This, this, this is not what marriage should be like. Well, I... I think I have um, a solution to that problem. I'll call my sister and tell her to release your niece. 
let her come and be helping you at home while you face your business. Well, that's a very good idea. Oh, oh, it's very helpful, please. Oh, yeah, nice, please well. call her. Call her. Let me know those. Let me do the dive for my time now. I'm I'm a no key person. Where are you coming from? And don't tell me you were coming from the shop because you were not there all day. Okay. Good evening, I believe, is the most appropriate thing to say first. So, good evening, my love. <laughs> Do you think I'm a fool? Oh, because you now put me in this condition, you think I don't know what you're doing. What's this? What are, what are you talking about, Mirabel? I put it to you that you're cheating on me. Yes, right under my nose. My goodness. Mirabel, where is this coming from? What is wrong with you? What's going over you? Go ahead and deny it. Yes, this is what you are good at. And if I ever catch that girl, I am going to kill her, kill you and kill myself. Over my dead body would you put me in this condition and have a sweet life with someone else? It's nothing but love. It's nothing but love. That's what I had for you, babe. It's nothing but love But now I see Say nothing day Now I can understand it I don't even know Why my... did he tell you It won't happen again Who is in this house? And how many times did it happen Who The very happen? next day <sighs> And now I'm asking why didn't you listen to me? Why didn't I do something though you said, please just let it be? Why did I let him take you from me? How many times did he tell you it would happen again? And how many times did he have the very next day to write our mistakes too little to late? Who the hell are you? Are you in? How did you get in here? Uh, my name is uh, um, Amanda. Uh, get out of my house right now! Leave! Get out! Leave! Get out of my Well, Angela, what's wrong with What happened? I was in the kitchen cooking when your wife came and asked me to go out. Didn't you tell her who you are? She wouldn't even let me talk. She was just yelling and yelling. Oh man, that's so. Oh, the road. Hmm. Babe, I forgot to tell you earlier today. Um, this is my niece, so I brought her here to help us with chores and everything. So you brought in your girlfriend and you're lying to my face. I just told you who she is. Are you accusing me of cheating? You can lie for all I care. That girl will not stay in this house with me. Why? Why? For real, why? I'm the one doing everything in this house. I do all the chores. I brought someone to help ease the burden on me. I said she's not going to stay. But it's not possible. She's staying. Uh -uh. I've said my mind. She's not going to stay under the same roof with me. Oh, <laughs> you think you can escape from the mess you made, right? I'm your cross. <laughs> you are doomed. I can see you just want trouble. I'm not going down that road with you. Angela, go to your room. If you dare move an inch. Foster, don't dare me. Brother, 
Give me transport, let me go. Angela, go to your room. Brother, give me transport, let me go. Somebody I want to help is saying, give me transport, I beg, it's too early. Give me transport. Where is he? Where is that good for nothing, God forsaken Moron? Mom, thank oh, he feels he's grown so much wings in my house. Where? Where is he? Mom, thank you for coming this fast. He's in the bedroom with the said girl. With a said girl? Yes. Where is he? Oh! Macho man! You feel you've grown so much wings to bring in your lover into my own house to spot my daughter who you meant? I'm asking you! That guy is not, she's not my lover. That's my niece. I'm going through lots in this house. She's here to help me. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, sweetheart. You are going to suffer for the rest of your life and that's marriage. For the fact you kept my daughter in this condition and she's suffering. You will suffer! Well, wait, wait. Why are you making a fuss of this? I'm going through, I'm going through a lot in this house. I'm suffering in this house. And Angela is here to help me. Oh! Her name is Angela. Now, where is that idiot? Where, where, Angela! Where, where is she? Mom? Madam! I don't understand this whole thing anymore. Why on earth would they refuse someone to help do the chores? Why? At least you can see what I've been going through since in that house. This is it too. But wow. Enough is enough. Why need them come? I'll go and talk to Lady B, woman to woman. Oh, no, no. Mama, what is that going to accomplish? It's only more insults she'll rain on you. Auntie, hmm? <laughs> you know you hate insults. I hate it. That woman, Barichagi, you will not see road to come back. That woman is a tigress, as in, eh? Nobody is supposed to call that woman a mother. I'm telling you. I agree. I agree. I had wanted to meet her one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Let us sort this whole thing out. Mm, I don't know. Oh, the way you people said it, truly, I don't know somebody. I wouldn't want her to insult me. Well, first, I don't know what else to tell you than to... to keep enduring. Indeed. Mm. Mm. Sorry. No? I don't have, I don't have a choice now. Chai. I have to endure. If I don't endure, they will, everybody will believe what she has been saying. Yes, that I went there and ruined their life. So... I'm yeah. sorry, mm. yo. But will bury me. To be honest, this is going to be a good and huge opportunity for you. I know. Trust me, I know. But it's just that traveling part that bothers me. You know how things are in this house now. With your level of involvement with them, phone calls and online transactions are not advisable. Anything you see the apartment, you get to see the people you're involved with. I get you. Okay, trust me. I get you 100%. I'm just skeptical about the traveling. That's my issue. Foster, it is just one week. One week and you're back. Guy, listen. This trip will afford you the luxury of expanding your business like you've always wanted. It's more like casting a wider net. You can't afford to mix it. Alright, alright, I'm done. You are your topic. One week. Just one week. Babe, I'm looking for my my international passports and documents. I took them. You what? Okay. Please, can you hand them over? My flight is by 3 p.m. This is 12. I need to be at the airport. So this is your plan with Oke? To run away and abandon me here? You are going nowhere and you are staying with me. But what is your problem? Why are you going to be turning turn into a witch? Why don't you just call me? <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. Okay, Maribel, I don't want to banter words with you. Mm. I beg you in God's name, just give me the documents and the international passport, please. And if I don't, what will you do? You want to beat me? Come and beat me. <gasps> Useless thing. It's me that you want to abandon in this place and travel. It will never happen. We die here. Here is my international passport and my documents. Thank you. 
What's up? You're not looking bright at all. Guy, you're supposed to be on your way to the airport. Guy, I've had it up to here with these people. I'm tired of the madness in this house. What happened? Can you imagine? Yeah, but she sees my travel documents and international passports. She what? Oh. This is not good at all. Guy, you're supposed to make this trip. And why does he need to make this trip? Oh, so you are the brain behind this evil plot. So you want him to leave me here and run away? No, but no one is running away from you. What did you say is going on here? Mom, he wants to run away and abandon me here. Who wants to run this? It's not possible. Not in this life. Hey. You stupid animal. Oh, you think you can escape from this misery? It's not possible. You die here. Madam, I'll ask you to refrain from calling me names. I'm sick and tired of your abuses and insults. Oh, just shut up! What the hell do you think you are? Hey, you've grown so much wings to stand before me, to speak like this. How dare you? I own you, damn it! So you better keep quiet when I'm talking. All right, you know what? I'm done. I'm so done. Mom, you see, he wants to leave me here and run away. Chill. I'm here now. Let me see how he will escape. Let me see how this idiot will escape. It's not possible. And who the hell is that? Come in! Ah. Oh. My in-law! Oh in-law, in-law! Oh, please keep quiet, madam! Oh. Who is your in-law? Does it mean you cannot stay at a place? I'm asking you! No, I can't. Uh, I what? Foster. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What's the meaning of this one? Let me have it. Come on, let me have it, my friend! Are you alright? I own you, damn it! I own everything! This car key is mine. The house is mine. Your shop is mine. The daughter is mine. Everything is mine. So keep quiet. Mama, okay, I'm out of here. Mom, he's leaving. What is that? Don't close it. Madam. Oh, are you still here? Madam, if you don't leave, my bossy. I will just give you one push and you will hit your head on the wall and die. Please, oh, don't push me anywhere my arthritis. Arthritis, my foot. Now get out. Hey! Now I can understand it. I don't even know my way. But it seemed to hold me down. No matter what must Let have happened, you cannot run away from your home. Emma, I do not have a home day. I don't stay on time. Mirabelle is still your wife. And she's in a bad condition now. Okay, who will take care of her if you're not there? Mama, Mirabelle wants Foster dead. I cannot advise him to go back to that house. Yeah. Hmm? Mama, this girl and her mother are witches, oh. Kuchu, we don't talk like that now. Eh? Huh? We are all humans. Okay. I want us all to put ourselves in Mirabelle's shoes. That girl is in a wheelchair. In no time, she don't worry, she will go back to her old self. She will change. I don't see that day coming. I don't see that day. See, I've gone, I've left that house. There's no going back. Me, I've made my decision. I cannot go. Okay, Mama. Talk to your friend. Hmm? Talk to your friend. I know a lot is going on. But I believe that Mirabel will change. Mama. This Mirabel wants Foster dead. I have witnessed it firsthand. I cannot possibly advise him to go back to that house. Do they want to kill him because he was the one who drove the car on that day? Oh. Mom, 
spend too much on him. We did not have the right way. I beg your pardon? What is that supposed to mean? I shouldn't have seized his passport or document. I should have just allowed him to travel. But he was going to run away. You did the right thing, believe me. No, Mom. I made this up. I messed up. He was just going for a business trip. Mirabel, what is this? Why are you behaving like this? Why are you panting? Mom, you know Foster is still my husband. That young man is a useless fool. And believe me, you are beginning to act like a fool as well. He got all he deserved, believe me. After all, he's the one that kept you in this condition. Nothing but love. It's nothing but love. That's what I had for you, babe. It's nothing but love. But now I see, say nothing did. Now I can understand it. I don't even know my way. Let me breathe, 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 not like I don't love you. Everything I do, I do for love. Everything I do, I do for you. When they ask me not to do Everything I give is just for love Waiting day Now nothing day I can't believe What I do to myself Nothing day Nothing day Can't believe What I've done to me sin have I committed to make someone I love treat me like a slave? Well, first, I don't want to start sounding like a broken record. Mirabel is not finding it easy at all. But I promise you, this is a phase that will soon pass. Mama, you keep saying this all the time. Look at Foster. Is this the son you used to know? I know. But like I said, it has not been easy for Mirabel. Let us all be patient. This level will go. Believe me. 
to be honest. I don't know for how long I can endure. I don't know how I'm going to go back to that house. Son. Just go back. Try and go back. You are a man, the head of that family. You need to go and take care of your wife. He's still not connecting. Baby's number is not connecting. I believe he switched it off because of me. Look, I'm that friend Tom sister. And I'll be very honest with you. You and your mother didn't handle this issue well. It was so unfair the way you two treated him. <sighs> Babe, I know we overreacted. He's the reason I'm on this wheelchair. Hey, look here. Come on. Come, 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 come. See, Mirabelle, you used to be madly in love with this guy. His presence trips you. What happened? What really changed? Babe, I don't know. I don't know what changed. Um, I love him so much and I don't want to lose him. But I feel you should just pay for what he has done to me. Stop the blame games. It's okay. <sighs> Welcome, Froster. <sighs> Finally. Babe, you're still mad at me. Thank goodness that he's back. That's all that matters. I just pray if he forgives me. He will. your plan to kill me and burn down this house, you right? Don't, you don't say this one now. I was tired. I slept off. Oh, you were tired and you left the gas on. See, baby, I don't have time for this you're nagging today. I'm, please, I'm begging you. <sighs> oh, now I'm nagging. Oh, I'm talking to you. You're walking down. Foster! Foster! So you want to burn down this house, right? You cannot even afford this house. Talk less of your mom. Good afternoon, ma'am. Now, what do you want? Um, I came to ask that you allow Mirabel and I divorce. I'm tired. At this point, I'm tired, ma'am. I don't think I can consume with this marriage. Oh, I can see you have my cat million naira to pay back. Oh, can you make Mirabel walk again? 
just like the way you saw her at first. You think you can eat your cake and have it? Oh no, it hasn't worked that way. You just came into our lives and ruined our lives. Look at the way you kept my daughter. She's on a wheelchair now. And you want to fly out. You want to go away to enjoy your life, have fun with some of the women. It won't work. Never will it work. You see this marriage? You die here. You will stay in this marriage and suffer. Believe me. And what are you still doing here? What is this? What have you done, Mirabel? Why would you allow such to happen? Mom, it was a mistake. A mistake? Don't even go there. A mistake that you threw your legs wide open for that moron to get you pregnant. Now tell me, how are you going to cope in this condition? How? Mom, you're taking this too far. Too far? Taking what too far? That useless moron is supposed to stay childless for the rest of his life, for all he has done to you in this marriage. Mom, let me ask you this. How long are we supposed to hold this guy to ransom? For as long as my daughter is on this wheelchair, I will make him suffer for the rest of his life in this marriage. And hey, listen, you should consider aborting this pregnancy. What? What do you mean what? You heard me. Mom! What has come over you? You that will not even allow your daughter to get pregnant out of wedlock is the one talking about abortion. Mom, I'm not going to do this. I won't do it. And what do you think you're doing? Just stay here, my friend. Mom, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Are you also going to react like my mom did? No. I'm actually happy with the recent developments. But let's be honest. You don't love me anymore. You don't even see me as a human being. And you're incapacitated. How are you going to cope with pregnancy? I do not hate you. You do not love me either, right? as much <clears throat> it's nothing but love that's what I had for you babe it's nothing but love so what are you going to do I don't know but I can't bring a child into this family where there is no love Are you saying you're going to support Lady B's suggestion to abort the pregnancy? No. Hell no. I, I, no, I can never support the termination of a, of a life now. No. But you know better than that. Foster, do you think Mirabel is still in love with you? I don't know. If I'm being very honest with you, I don't know how strong my love for her is right now. I only care about this situation because my child is involved. That's just the only truth right now. Everything I give is just for love. Waiting day. Babe, I love Foster so much. I don't know if you still feel the same way after everything that I've put him through. I know Foster still loves you, no matter what you have done to him. Boy, you're so cold about the pregnancy. I can't do this alone. Maribel, 
you really need to have a serious conversation with me. But first and foremost, you need to reconcile with me and stop blaming him for your predicament. We all know it was an accident. You have blamed him enough. I don't know why I'm so hungry at him. He has never hurt me before. And I love him so much. That is why I said you need to reconcile with him and stop the blame games. Then every other thing will fall into places. Are you sure about that? Trust me. Twin. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give it a try. That's my girl. <laughs> fine. Let me go first. After all, this whole thing started with me. No, Mom. <laughs> Let me start. I'm just done. Babe, I'm so sorry for all the pains I've caused you. I don't even know how I got to this point, but please forgive me. Do you know how we were crazy about each other? I was still being crazy about you. I know I was the one who changed, who turned into a monster, but please forgive me. Try. Yeah. Well, um, I've been a grudge against you. I've been through hell. But I'm glad. I'm glad that you realized that you had fault and forgive you. Please don't leave me. I can't do this on my own. This baby needs us. I have no intention of leaving you or my baby. Never. Oh, my son. I don't even know where to start from. I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Believe me. I'm sorry. From the very first day I met you, I have antagonized you. I met this life a living hell for you. Oh. Little did you know that I was reacting to my past experience. Eh? Chimo. But in all things, I have been wrong. Absolutely wrong. I'm so sorry, son. Just forgive and forget. And I promise in front of your mom, yeah? I mean, just like. <laughs> well, you promise that you kill him. I promised that I will kill you in front of your mom, but I'm sorry. I promise I will never. I will never interfere in your marriage ever again. It's a promise. Well, um, um, I've been a word against you either. Um, you're only protecting your daughter, which isn't a crime. Even though you went overboard. But as a family, we are supposed to be together, not divided. So I have no problem with any of you. I love you. Thank you so much. Hi. I'm so thankful to God for a day like this. I'm so happy that we are family again. Please, oh, I don't know if I have offended anyone, <laughs> especially you. Please forgive me. No, believe me, you've not. <laughs> you've not, and I'm glad I didn't. Push you on that day for you to hit your yeah. head on the wall and die. I would have. Uh, ah. I have arthritis. I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> I give God all the glory. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Come, my Thank son. Come. It's not God bless you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
My wife. Mm -hmm. My daughter. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't even know my way. But it seemed to hold me down. Let me breathe. 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 Not like I don't love you. Everything I do, I do for love. Everything I do, I do for you. Even when they ask me not to do, everything I give is just for love. Waiting day, now not in day. I can't believe. But I do to myself Nothing day Nothing day Can't believe What I've done to me 